Hi, welcome back to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, continuing on with our new features for ICX8080, uh, now we have a, a race system to factory default ability that we didn't have in the past. So uh, prior to 8080, we could do an erase startup uh, and erase the startup configuration, but that didn't uh, put it back to factory default uh, because it left log files, it left license files, it left core dumps, boot configuration, uh, all kinds of pieces uh, behind the scenes that it would leave behind. So if you needed to say RMA a device or you know you were you were moving a device between divisions, something like that, you'd still have some um, some some private files there possibly uh, when you pass those over. So what this does is works on any of the ICX models, it removes everything. So it not just erase your startup configuration, it erase your boot configuration, core files or core dumps if you have any, uh, system logs. So if you were using logging persistent, uh, it's going to erase those. It's going to erase all your license files and your license information and put those licenses back to whatever the factory SKU was. So if you bought it from the factory with, you know, two ports of 10 gig turned on, for example, it's going to put it back to that factory configuration, no matter what licenses were on it at the time you did the erase. Uh, the other thing to note about this is there's no, um, it doesn't auto complete. So you can't tab it, you can't question mark it for help. Um, and that is not by accident. That is to avoid you uh, doing a factory reset by, uh, by accident, of course. So let's have a look at how that works. So we'll just uh, drop over to my terminal. So this happens to be a uh, ICX 7250, but again, it works on anything. Um, and the command's pretty simple. So it's a race. And if I do a question mark here, you'll notice that a race system isn't even there, right? So, uh, we hide that command on purpose. So it's a race system. Again, uh, there, if I question mark it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't allow me, I can't tab it from this point. So you have to type it all out. Um, so it's a, a race system factory default is a command. Um, so it says system will go for reload after factory reset, confirm yes. Uh, and then it's gonna give you this, this alert, right? To make sure that you really, really wanna do it. So um, the U-boot parameters or the boot parameters will be erased. Um, all configurations erased, core files and logs are erased. The licenses are erased and the license files are erased. So um, you've read the alert and you agree to the factory default. So, you know, don't blame us. You say yes to that. Uh, and then you actually see it. So it's, so you see that it unmounts the flash and then it erases all those files, done, done, done. And then finally it's going to reboot. Uh, and when this comes back up, it is going to be fresh and new, just like it came from the factory yesterday. So, um, pretty simple command to operate, but very, very helpful. So especially if you are, you know, getting rid of a device, uh, whether you be, you know, for RMA or you're, or you're trashing it or whatever the case, you're not leaving any um, private files on that system. All right, so that's it. Pretty simple, but uh, great new command. Have a great day. Take care.